All right. Scalpel. Scalpel. Sir. Oh, uh, there you go. It's magic. It can't be that easy. It's that easy. Nailed it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> this is an early season one right here. Cheers. <laughs> Really delicate in flavor. Okay. Kind of floral. Um, really light. We live in a sugar maple basswood forest. It's a mature forest. It's about 75, 80 years old. Oh. Uh, the trees are just starting to get to a maturity, I think. It's nice to, you know, get home, throw my hair up, put some dirty clothes on, and get out in the woods. You only get to do it for a small window every year. Mother Nature determines that, you know, sometimes it can only be two weeks, really, you know. Usually it's about a month. It has to be above freezing during the day and below at night. So those really nice days where it doesn't get as cold at night, you start to get nervous that it's not going to be a long season. It's very seasonal. <laughs> you can, yeah. Just about the time you're kind of tired of it, you're like, oh, it's over now. As soon as it starts, the trees start budding, the season's over. The syrup changes the flavor, and it's not as good anymore. Got another one for you here. Oh, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> it's a lot of work, you know, during that time, but it's just fun to be outside, enjoying warm weather, having the sun on your face, and smelling <laughs> the sap <laughs> boiling. And... Yeah. and we do this because we love it. You know, we're passionate about it. It's kind of something we just do because we get a lot of enjoyment out of it. You know, we don't do it just to pay the bills or it's not a grind. You know, I think you can taste that too in our product. It's, we put a lot of love into it. You know, you hate to get all fancy schmancy about the terroir of the syrup, but it really makes a difference. You know, it's 100% sugar maple. There's a higher sugar content in the sugar maples. Um, usually it's 40 gallons of sap to one gallon of syrup when you're cooking it down. For us, it usually averages about 34 to 35. You know, we run about four to five percent sugar content in our sap, so it's higher than most. And you know, when we have a not very efficient production down there, the trees kind of help out a little bit. Every sugar bush tastes different, and we're just really proud of our sugar bush. It's, it's a very unique flavor, and uh, we make a good product out of it. I enjoy doing this a lot, but usually I'm the one like filming Ryan doing it, so <laughs> he ends up looking like. He does all the work. <laughs> well, I do some work here. <laughs> Let's just <kidding>. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. No, so it's a lot of fun. And then we have one more partner, Tony Delich. Like I yeah. said, he's our friend, and he's really the financial guy, too. He runs all the numbers, the margins, and he's really dialed in with that. So it's really nice having him part of the team, too. There's a lot of syrup producers around here, you know, and make incredible products, but our niche is the bourbon barrel aged syrup. And, yeah, we, we produce it here and age it here and then we ship it to Kentucky and people can buy it there. I just wrote Blanton's an email. I'm like, hey, this is what I do. This is what I like about you guys. I think we can do this together. You know, let's, let's give it a chance. And they're like, yep, let's do it. I'm like, oh my God, and I gotta figure it out now. You know what I mean? So then you just, we figured it out and uh, we did 825 bottles the first year, sold out in 12 hours on Blanton's website. So then we're like, well, it's go time now. So. Yeah, we did a bunch more this year, and then um, for the third season, we'll probably do about 3,000 bottles. So this is a dark amber, so this is a kind of a later season stuff. Oh, this has got big caramel in it. It's more intense in flavor, a little vanilla in it. It's got that real maple, like you, it's got that maple flavor, you know what I mean? It's, and this is what we use in our barrel aged stuff. Yeah, so this is our Rick House. This is where we age our bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. It's special because it's on the second floor and it's a metal roof. So there's no insulation in it. It gets very warm in the summer, usually over 100 degrees. And then it cools down in the evening. It cools down to usually like to 50 to 60. So those barrels are really opening and closing. They're, they're taking in a bunch of flavor and they're putting out a bunch of flavor. And we get the most flavor out of the barrels in a shortest amount of time. So it's usually six months we're aging them up here. That's the perfect time for the palate. 
our cream in the crop, <laughs> our barrel aged stuff. Oh, that is so good. It was super bourbony. It, that one. did have some zip to it, I think, because I heated it up. <laughs> See, I get that the oak right away, and then it goes into maple, and then it goes into kind of a little bit of that bourbon in the very end, and the smoke and the aftertaste on this. Stuff oh, is it's like, just caramely. It lingers oh, forever. it's in your so mouth good. and it stays in your mouth. So good. Our biggest challenge actually is how committed do we want? Is this a side hustle or is this, <laughs> this is what we're doing from now on? So, but I think like success for us with this looks like are we still having fun doing yeah. it? I mean, we don't have to, you know, do the maple syrup, but we really enjoy it and we kind of love the connections that we've made with people. Bourbon is just huge right now. It's, we're in a big boom and it's kind of going crazy all over the country and in the world, really. So it's kind of fun being a part of that a little bit and talking to people who are making big decisions and making awesome products. Well, I think enthusiasm attracts enthusiasm and I think if you're passionate about it, you'll attract your, your people.